Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to my tour and review of the Ibis Hotel in Southampton. It is pre-cruise day, yes! And I am gonna be staying in the Ibis Southampton. So come with me, have a tour of the hotel and I will give you my thoughts. The Ibis Southampton is conveniently located just five minute walk from Southampton Central train station. With cruise terminals and West Quay shopping centre within easy reach, this is a very convenient location. And in we go. So this is the entrance area. I'm presuming that's check-in. Very right, nice, fast, easy check-in. And I am heading for the third floor. We've got lifts over here. And there's a handy key drop for tomorrow morning. Not that I'm in any rush, I've got to be honest. And to activate the lift, you do need your key card. I think. Aha. Here we go. Open sesame. Oh. We are cleaning. And here we are. Three, two, four. So every room at the Ibis comes with a balcony. No, just joking. Uh, these are all standard rooms. And normally I've paid anywhere between about £45 to £100. Tonight was £95. And it's very noticeable that with the return of cruising from Southampton, UK, uh, prices have definitely shot up in most hotels in the area. Hopefully they'll go down again soon. And there you have it. This is essentially what you get for your bucks. Uh, not a huge room, but clean, practical, gorgeous plastic canteen style chair. Oh, and look, I can just imagine myself lounging here, having a nice glass of wine or a gin and tonic, admiring the beautiful views of the car park and Southampton Central Station. Actually, while I'm on the topic of the train station, it's actually right here. So as you can see, it's a very quick five minute walk across the road. Be careful, look left and right. Tea and coffee, amenities, fabulous. And if you like your biscuits, here's a caramelized one. Belgium, nom nom. Right, we have spare pillows up here. And I think actually for storage, this is quite good, isn't it? Some similar sized and standard rooms, you wouldn't necessarily get any hanging space. So um, we're all good. Right, and let's take the half mile trek to the bathroom. Let's see what that's like. Ooh, plastic arama. Actually, that's mean. It's very clean. And ooh, look, 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 rock your body products. We've got to try those folks, let's try. Okay, I'm half deaf, so smell is everything to me. Let's have a go. Mm. Kind of like one of those old body wash type soaps you'd get from Boots about 30 years ago. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I know, you're probably thinking, how on earth does he remember life 30 years ago? He looks far too young. Yeah. Okay, so we have a shower and the luxury of a little dumpy bath. Mm, probably okay for two babies. Okay, a good blogger always shows you around everything. Toilet, bog roll. Toilet, bog roll. Right, I'm on the hunt for sockets. Not found any yet. Surely one by the kettle. Ah, there you go. There's two there. But I don't see any anywhere else. Better bring a four bar. Actually, you need to look down. I have found another two sockets. Really handily placed by the floor. So what are your thoughts? Drop your comments below. I'd like to hear from you. Um, actually, I've got a thought, which is, I feel like I should be going to the bar and checking out that area, having a little drink. What do you reckon? Follow me. Time for a drink. <laughs> There you go, bar located. Level unlocked. Cheers, everybody. Mm -hmm. 
some awesome pictures and memorabilia in the lobby area. And it's awesome seeing this. I love it. Uh, quite sad as well. Look at this. And around here, we have the canteen or restaurant. Sorry, sorry. Just like being in a post school. <laughs> However, this more than makes up for it. What a picture to have on the wall. Let's have a little spin round so you can see just how big it is. And I can see over here is probably where you'd get your breakfast served. Oh my goodness, it's morning time already and there are a few buffet items out. And you've got a stray picnic bench outside in case you want a little bit of fresh air. Nice view of the car park too. So you might have worked out I had a few reservations uh, on check-in. Uh, the proof is always in the pudding, of course. Uh, now I had a great night's sleep, very comfy mattress, pretty much like a topper, nice pillows as well. Um, I would say that I'm going to be paying £5 less next week to stay at Enio's uh, Boutique Hotel, which is pretty much three, four notches up from this hotel. So I think this is overpriced for one night at £95, I've got to be honest with you. Uh, I would pay anything up to £60, £70 maximum. But generally, uh, a good overnight stay, looking forward to joining uh, Regal Princess today. Make sure you're following along that adventure and I will see you soon. Don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Instagram, Twitter and YouTube.